Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a tutorial for The Sims Freeplay Street Smarts event. This is a limited time event lasting for 9 days beginning on January 13th, 2018. If you're watching this video after those 9 days, then you've missed this event and you'll need to wait for The Sims Freeplay game developers to bring it back. This event gives us the opportunity to win 7 new streetwear themed clothing for your adult female sims by completing the aerobics hobby. Later in this video we'll walk through all of the new clothes, but for now we're going to do a quick tutorial for the event. This tutorial is basically the same one we've done for previous events which were based around the aerobics hobby, so if you've already seen those videos or if you already know how hobby events work, then feel free to skip to the part with the prizes. Okay, here we go with the tutorial. Roll tape. This event is centered around the aerobics hobby for adult sims. To get started on this hobby, you need to build the health hub in town and complete the Grooving Guru quest. We've done a walkthrough for that quest already, which we'll link to in the video description, so please check that out. Finishing the Grooving Guru quest unlocks the aerobics hobby, which is what you'll need to complete in order to win these new outfits. Each time you complete the aerobics hobby, you'll unlock one new outfit prize pack. We'll explain more how that works later in the video. Now, if you have never completed the aerobics hobby before, this next point is very important. All hobbies have levels, which a sim will achieve as they do more of the hobby, usually going from the lowest level 1 to the highest level 6. This is what an empty hobby collection looks like when you've only ever had a sim reach a lower level in the hobby. Each of these squares is a hobby item which you collect by completing one hobby action. As you can see, the squares for the higher levels are blue. This means those hobby items are locked, and you won't be able to get any of them until at least one sim reaches those levels. But in order to win even one of the new exercise outfits, you need to collect all 12 of the hobby items. Since you can only collect items which have been unlocked, you first need a sim to reach the highest level in the hobby in order to unlock and collect all of the items. So if you haven't completed this collection yet, we recommend letting one sim do the longer hobby actions until they level all the way up and unlock all of the items. You only need one sim to hit the highest level one time to unlock the whole collection. After that, the items will stay unlocked and any sim doing the hobby will be able to get any item no matter what level they are. Basically, all hobbies in the game work like this, so for a future tip, it's a really good idea to get a sim to the highest level in each hobby in preparation for future events. It takes time for sims to level up all the way. This is why we recommend getting a sim to the highest level before these hobby events happen, so you don't have to spend valuable time doing it during the event. Now, once a sim has reached the highest level and unlocked the whole collection, we then recommend putting as many sims as possible on the hobby. With the aerobics hobby, you can buy up to 15 exercise mats to place in your sims' homes. They'll be in your inventory after you buy them, in the hobby category. In addition to those 15 mats, you already have one mat at the health hub, so you can have a total of 16 sims in your town working on the aerobics hobby at the same time. You can also send one of your sims to a neighbor's town and have the sim use an exercise mat at your neighbor's health hub. Why should you have this many sims doing the hobby? Because, like we said, you need to collect all 12 hobby items to win one of the outfit prize packs. And as we said, the way to get one hobby item is to have a sim complete one hobby action. The item they end up with will be random and you might get repeats. You just have to keep doing the hobby over and over again until you collect all 12. So this is why we recommend that you have as many sims as you can doing the shortest task over and over again. It helps to have a lot of sims completing as many hobby actions as possible during the event to give you more chances to collect the hobby items. When you've completed the hobby collection and earned one outfit prize pack, tap the button at the top which says Reset Collection. This will make the collection empty again. When you've collected another 12 items, you'll get another prize pack. Keep doing this until you've won all the prizes. Now, let's see what we've got. Like we said, there are seven possible prizes, which are all streetwear-themed clothing sets for your adult female sims. Now, obviously, it'd be great to have new clothes for male sims and also for different ages. But at the time of this video, this event is appearing during the big holiday update for the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018. 
And to be honest, the game developers have already packed a ton of new content into the game with the Snow Problem Quest and the Snow Chalet and the Hair Salon event. Yeah, all of that probably took a ton of time and money and resources to make, which means we're not going to complain too much about the adult female sims being the only ones to get new clothes. The good thing about these clothes is that they show up in separate categories so you can mix and match them. You get seven new tops, seven new pairs of shorts, and seven new pairs of boots. So here's the first set you win. I think it's definitely a cool theme. Yeah, you got these leopard print shorts, these chunky black boots, and I really like the leather jacket, or is it vinyl maybe? Something like that, <laughs> with the scarf. Pleather. Pleather. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely going for a very urban, modern look, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now, as we said, these are mix and match, but we're just going through the prize sets that are won in order. So here is the next set that you win. This is looking pretty classy. I like that brown jacket. Mm. So obviously each of these, there are seven different tops, shorts and boots. Mm -hmm. They all, I think, look like the same style or mm -hmm. pattern, but just different colors. Yeah. Here is the third set. This is more of a pastel kind of vibe, but then you've got those red heels on these boots, mm -hmm. which give a little pop of color. Yeah, there's something about suddenly the boots looking on the right of the screen that kind of have a 60s vibe to me. Mm, yeah, you're right, like go-go boots or something. Mm -hmm. All right, so this next set is a little more harder edged with snakeskin boots and a red jacket. Yeah, I think I like the red jacket and the brown jacket most so far. I like that there was a bit of patterning on the shirt under the red jacket as well. Mm, there was like a square pattern. Yeah, and though I was thinking like it's coming out beginning of 2018, Obviously, the game developers live in Australia where it's summer. Here, we live in East Coast US where it's winter. This definitely seems like a harsh to wear in the middle of winter, but there is that scarf. And the boots. <laughs> All right, here is the next set. Going back to lighter colors, but those boots, they just give it that harder edge. Yeah, I think these are my favorite boots. Yeah, they're very bold. Mm-hmm. All right, here's the next set model by our sim. We've got a sort of black and white and gray theme, but the red boots. Great accessories, really mm -hmm. kick it up another notch, literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go with the last set. And this is a bit interesting. We've got like floral themed shorts. The boots are blue and wow. this, I think this is my favorite jacket. I just really love the color and I love the fact that the scarf has a bit of polka dotty to it. Bit yeah, it looks like a warmer top as well underneath. Yeah, the top looks kind of ribbed. And as we said, it's mix and match. So if you want your sim to be dressed for a colder weather, you can put any kind of jeans or trousers or leggings on her if you want. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this walkthrough of the Street Smarts event. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Freeplay on the way. Thanks for watching.